experience in real life. Let me walk you through the steps on how to even obtain or reach your temp file. Now, if you've never done this before, you're going to have a ton, and I mean a ton, of used up space of stuff that you do not need anymore. And something that a lot of warranties and computer places will not tell you is that, yeah, you have um, free technical support and everything else, but when they got to do something real like this, 110,000 or more, you know, items that I need to get rid of, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg. I talked to them, they're talking about me spending $2,000 for them to speed up and fix my computer from a remote location. What kind of stuff is that? Then I called McAfee, they said the same thing. So what did I do? I picked up some books, I did some research online, and I figured out how to do it myself. So I'm about to share it with you. So, I just finished, but let me show you how to get through this. So first off, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, whatever Windows you have, even Windows XP, you need to go to your start button. Now, for my Windows 8 users like me, we don't have technically a start button. So just go to your Windows. Next, we're gonna come over here to search. And where it says search, you're going to type in run, R-U-N just like that okay next you will click this and then it's gonna open up this folder right here this is very important this is what they try and make you pay all kinds of money for when you don't need to type in percent and I'm just do it with you percent T E M P and then end it with temp. Bam. Click OK. Now I literally just did this. So if you saw my Instagram photo, uh, you already saw how much stuff I had. So it's gonna take you to this folder. You're gonna click Control A. Control A. And that's gonna highlight all of those files. Then click delete and drop it into your recycle bin. Now granted. Mine was so big, I had so much stuff that my recycling bin was in big enough to delete it all, or to even take it in on. So it had to permanently delete the stuff before it even went to the recycling bin. So, you know, you can do Control A and delete, or you can do Control A and drag it over to your recycling bin if it fits. Okay. But other than that, it takes about five to ten minutes really not that hard anyone can do it you got any questions comment below also let me see y'all do it videotape yourselves fixing your computer and speeding it back up again I just want to see you know if anyone else had it as bad as I did I haven't done it since I got the computer so that was a whole lot of stuff let's see what you guys got this is Knight Williams signing out